Imperial Valley's AM 1230 KXO El Centro. So what's going on in the NFL? I'm Omar Reese with NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. Teams had until 4 p.m. Eastern Tuesday to get their rosters down to 53 players. And that led to some surprising cuts like the Patriots releasing quarterback Cam Newton. Ricky Mac Jones is now the starter in New England. Some other moves. The Bears releasing corner Desmond Trufant. Pro Bowl defensive end Everson Griffin cut by Minnesota. The Eagles cut running back Jordan Howard and receiver Travis Fulgham. And the Cardinals put corner Malcolm Butler on the reserve retired list. A trio of all pros landing on the physically unable to perform list, including Patriots corner Stephon Gilmore, Packers left tackle David Bakhtiari, and Saints wideout Michael Thomas. They'll all miss at least the first six weeks of the season. And Saints head coach Sean Payton says his team will likely be away from New Orleans for one month due to the devastation from Hurricane Ida. And their week one home game against the Packers may be relocated. The NFL says it's monitoring the situation. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. I can pop a beer in here, right? Your cousin from Boston. This here is Sam Adams Boston Lager. It's my go-to beer. Not too heavy, not too light. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's... Whoopsie-daisy. Oh, no. Is there somebody somebody that can help come on in the room? It just it poured right in the keyboard. Relax. I spill beer on my computer all the time. Sam Adams Boston Lager. The Boston Beer Company, Boston, Massachusetts. Drink responsibly. The Labor Day savings inside the Home Depot means something different once you're back out there doing. In here, it's three bags of miracle Grow garden soil for $10. Out there, it's a backyard that looks like a million bucks. In here, it's a special buy on a Lillard White bath vanity. Out there, it's a guest bath ready for guests. Get back to more doing with store-wide savings for house-wide doing. Only at the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Valid through September 6, 2021. Limit 75 bags for well, it's another beautiful day in the neighborhood. Well, at least as things dry out. It is a Wednesday, and it's the first day of September 2021. <laughs> we made it through September. Okay, Gene, what do you, what do you figure? Um, how many people, uh, how many out-of-the-valley dove hunters are stuck in axle-deep mud <laughs> trying to get to the birds? If they get off the road very far, they're in trouble. Yes. And depending on what part of the valley they're in, if they get into some of that alkali, uh, it'll make their truck about three feet taller, won't it? Uh, that, and they'll probably claim, you know, I don't think I had any steering. Yes. You know, <laughs> slip and slide everywhere. <sighs> I had some, uh, I saw some pictures last night uh, that somebody sent in about uh, people pulling off the road to take a picture only to be really stuck. Yeah. Really stuck. Yep. Probably still there today. No doubt. And the tow company will get to them when they can. When they can, yeah. Yes. Okay, I will update some of the uh, road closures uh, coming up. And... Uh, and let you know some of the information about uh, the storms late yesterday afternoon into the evening. So, let's see. Looking back in history, I'm glad you asked. On this date, in 1810, the first plow with interchangeable parts was patented by John J. Wood. Okay. Would that be the Wood family from uh, Hopeville? Hopeville? I, I wondered yeah. when you say John Wood. Yeah. I don't know. I don't okay. know if John's we'll, we'll, around uh, anymore. Somebody said he uh, he is not. We'll, we'll, we'll put our spies on that. Yes. Okay. Uh, how about some birthdays? How about some birthdays? I okay, we already mentioned, uh, you remember the TV show uh, Route 66, right? I do. I can yeah. hear the music in my... Head. Yeah, we just played the song. Actor George Maharis, who was uh, in the show, also in West Side Story, is 93 today. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's have a ringy-dingy for Lily Tomlin. She's 82. Actor yeah. Don Stroud, 78. Archie Bell of Archie Bell and the Drells, 77. His song uh, hit number one while he was recuperating from wounds received in Vietnam.
Uh, singer Barry Gibb is 75. Drummer Greg Errico of Sly and the Family Stone, 73. Dr. Phil is 71, still looking for hair. Singer Gloria Estefan, 64. Actor Ricardo Antonio Chavarria is 50. Actor Maury Sterling, 50. Actor Scott Speedman, 46. Actor Boyd Holbrook, 40. Actor Zoe Lister-Jones is 39. And actor Aisling Loftus is 31. You okay? Okay. You got I'm local convinced. birthdays. Our happy birthday wishes going out today to Anna Watson, J.J. Jaime, Lorena Lacar, Lillian Sanchez, Ron Pegues, Angel Mercado, Forrest Snow, Maria Quintero, May Harrington, Silvio Rocha, Tammy Hernandez, Alan Phillips, Cameron Sidhu, Charlotte Levy, Pamela Graham, Greg Byers, Juan Jose Gonzalez, Magda Peon, Martha Castro, Rufina Flores, Mel Hewitt, Olga Rodriguez, Mackenzie Mitasinka, Ruben Zavala, and Christopher Thomas. Happy birthday. Okay, pretty good list for the first day of September. Pretty, pretty uh, impressive. Okay. Uh, you got a plan uh, to head to Disneyland or Disney World? A plan to head to Disneyland. You're going to go that way? A poet and didn't know it. Okay. Yeah. Well, no. you know, you can now pay extra money and skip lines at Disneyland and Disney World. Mm -hmm. You get into another line. Yeah, well, <laughs> the, re the resorts are introducing what they call lightning lane access to rides. Visitors can snag the next available entry time at popular attractions. It'll only cost you 15 to 20 bucks extra. Per ride, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, per person. Yeah. Disney, uh, by the way, has also announced a new addition to the Seven Dwarves. Along with Happy, Dopey, Sneezy, they also have Greedy. Greedy, yes. Yeah. That's, uh, I'm a believer. I understand what exactly what you're saying. Yeah, well... You know, you take a family of four to Disneyland, stay at one of their hotels, you're looking at $10,000. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But, you you know, at that price, you must be getting a portion of the uh, ownership of the the hotel. Yeah, right. Only if you buy stock, right? Yeah. Okay. I think, uh, as I'm serious, around the house somewhere, we have uh, some e-tickets still sitting around. Yeah. The E's. Remember, you used to get the ticket yeah. book. Yeah, no, I, I know exactly what you're talking about, but I don't. I didn't. I don't think I have any. Um, maybe in a collector's frame. Yeah, typically the A and B, which were kind of worthless, uh, are the ones that uh, are available. Yeah, I don't remember all the different alphabet uh, letters that uh, they had. A what I know you, you had trouble with the alphabet in school. It, it, yes, I understand. I did. I, yes. You, you do start with Z, don't you? Yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. You start anywhere you want, want to with to. today's, um, you know, curriculum, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You don't want to discourage a kid. Hey, you start where you want and put in as many as you want. As okay. often. Yes. Are you ready for news? We've got news coming up. It's, it's a, a look at World in California news headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning. They are your year-round comfort specialists. CBS News Brief. Days after Hurricane Ida, many Louisianans are still suffering with no power and dwindling supplies. I need gas, ice. We don't have any ice, water. Today's heat index will be 105. Ida's remnants will bring heavy rain to states as far north as New England. Some hopeful news on a massive wildfire threatening a popular California resort town. Cal Fire's Tim Ernst with an update minutes ago. We're fortunate the fire did not make as strong a push in Tahoe as it did the, the previous day. A lot of great work is being done here. A judge in New York is expected to rule on a settlement today involving the drug company that manufactures the opioid OxyContin and the family that owns it. CBS's Anna Werner. Under the proposed bankruptcy settlement, the Sacklers would pay $4.325 billion over nine years, settling roughly 3,000 lawsuits. They're blamed for helping fuel the country's opioid crisis. CBS News Brief. 
I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer and get special pricing on cooling and heating tune-ups all year long. Call today to become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock VIPs receive discounted service and maintenance, discounted repairs, and priority service with prompt service. Lock Air Conditioning is your local York dealer, but they repair it all. So when the need arises, don't hesitate to call Lock Air Conditioning at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. L-O-C-K-E. That's 76093 L-O-C-K-E. Lock, the only name in air conditioning for over 40 years. York, install with confidence. Contractor's license number 69621. Headline news, the Calder Fire threatening tens of thousands of structures near Lake Tahoe as it grows to nearly 200,000 acres in size, helped in large part by powerful winds that have enabled the flames to spread from treetop to treetop. When it does that, those ember casts that it throws out are going over a mile in distance. So that's what's propagating the spread of the fire right now is that long range uh, downwind spotting of that ember cast. Steve Vollmer with Cal Fire, just 18% containment so far. The Dixie Fire, 48% contained. It's burned 820,000 acres. The Butte County Sheriff lifting all the evacuation orders for residents in Jonesville, Butte Meadows, Snag Lake, and Philbrook. One person reportedly rescued, five others unaccounted for after a U.S. Navy helicopter crashes off the Southern California coast. The helicopter from the USS Abraham Lincoln went down into the Pacific Ocean while on routine flight operations. It was quite a ways off the coast of San Diego. Correspondent Alex Stone cooling to the mid-70s at Lake Tahoe, low 80s in Sacramento. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning, your year-round comfort specialist. Call the pros. Hey, you got a friend into the business at Lock Air Conditioning. It's J.C. Penney's Labor Day Home Sale, and the deals are hot. Get up to 50% off select furniture, mattresses, and window, and refresh every room in the house. Plus, shop store busters Friday to Monday while they last. Like $6.99 select field crest bath towels and a Black & Decker food processor or a George Foreman grill for only $39.99 each. Or save an extra 25% with coupon across the store. Hurry and bring it all home for less. J.C. Penney. Store busters valid 9 3 9 6 and excluded from coupon. Offers and coupon valid through 9 6. Some exclusions apply. See store or gcp.com for details. Heard you're buying a car. I brought my calculator. Dad, I already used Capital One Auto Navigator. I found my car online and got pre-qualified instantly. Instead of all that. You know those things impact your credit score. Didn't impact my credit score, Dad. Now I'm going to the dealership for a test drive and to make the purchase. Hmm, sounds too easy. No, it's just easy. Capital One, what's in your wallet? Terms and conditions apply. Find out more at CapitalOne.com slash Auto Navigator. It's page one of the local news, page one, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers with two locations in the valley, in the Brawley Auto Center, Highway 86 in Julia Drive, and on Imperial Avenue next to Food for Less in El Centro. And before I jump in the news, I know we mentioned my son-in-law's uh, birthday this morning. Uh, I will not tell Forrest uh, what your age is. Um, 23. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, boy, you know how to get on his uh, good side. He's too big not to be not on to, his good side. <laughs> thunderstorms uh, battered the Imperial Valley uh, on Tuesday. The thunderstorms activity brought heavy rain, high winds, and flooding. Normally, dry washes along Highway 78 were running and flooding the roadway. The highway was closed from Ogilvy Road to All Verde with a number of vehicles trapped uh, between washouts. High winds knocked down utility poles and power lines all over uh, the Imperial Valley with uh, power outages resulting. Imperial Irrigation District crews have been working since a Monday night storm, knocked out a major power line and a block. Uh, out uh, much of the North Shore area of Salton Sea. The Tuesday storm created even more problems uh, in uh, other, another area. An estimated 1.5 inches of rain uh, blanketed the north end of the valley, and the National Weather Service radar reported one inch of rain in the Holtville and Calipatria areas, and a number of traffic accidents were also reported. COVID-19 uh, numbers uh, are here for an update. Here's George Gale. 
The updated numbers were released yesterday morning. According to the latest numbers, active cases of COVID-19 are now at 368. 18 of those are hospitalized, six in intensive care. Deaths attributed to the virus are now at 750. According to the estate tier metrics for the Imperial County, positivity rate seven-day average is now at 13.2%. New cases per day per 100,000 population is at 1770 for KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. KXO News Time, 742. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers have the best price on name brand tires sold at Quick Lane, guaranteed. Just ask your Quick Lane service advisor. Now we're talking the best brands available, Michelin, Continental, Pirelli, Dunlap, Kelly, Bridgestone, and more. And we're talking the best price. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. Quick Lane, in the Brawley Auto Center, Highway 86 in Julia Drive, and on Imperial Avenue. Avenue next to Food for Less in El Centro. Well, Carol, I'm sure you saw this report from the California Highway Patrol about uh, the instances of uh, road closures. Yes. Are you surprised? Well, certainly not surprised about Highway 78 closed uh, (laughs) from Ogilvy to Palo Verde because anytime it rains, it closes. Yes, so you want to check uh, some areas. If you're from the valley, you've already learned some of the roadways that notoriously flood. Uh, they've got uh, West Cole Road, Dogwood Road. Uh, you got uh, Sinclair Road to Blair Road, uh, Evan Hughes Highway to Forrester, uh, Rutherford Road to uh, State Route 115. Carol mentioned it already, Blythe uh, to Ogilvy Road, uh, also uh, State Route 78 to Palo Verde. You need to take another uh, optional um, road to get around that area. And finally, COVID-19 vaccines are strongly encouraged. Here's more in the story. They are highly recommended and easy to obtain. Health officials say the best way to protect against serious illness from COVID-19 and the variants is to be vaccinated and to wear a mask when out in the public areas. Almost 238,000 vaccine doses have been administered in the Imperial County. Community vaccine clinics uh, will be held throughout the month of September at 2895 South Fourth Street in El Centro. On Tuesday and Thursday, the clinic will offer the Pfizer vaccine from 8.30 a.m. to 12 noon and from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. And on Wednesday, the Wednesday Clinic will offer the Moderna vaccine from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Vaccinations are free. Walk-ins are welcome and no appointments are necessary. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. And that concludes this edition of Local News. Stay with us for page two. Page one of the Local News, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and El Centro. Yes, Quick Lane has windshield wipers. And yes, they will install them for you. Quick Lane, ready to serve. Dad drinks energy drinks all day. But he'd feel better if he just drank enough water. <laughs> Dad, so I surprised him with a super cool water bottle. Wow. Oh, will he use it? He will. And I added some fruit for an orangey twist. Son, why are you watching me drink? I'm celebrating healthy victories, Dad. Your victories. So, how do you feel? I feel refreshed. Yeah. Celebrate healthy victories. Yeah. Get tips at calfreshhealthyliving.org. A message from the California Department of Public Health. Funded by USDA SNAP, an equal opportunity provider and employer. And it's page two of the local news brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. You can see David, you can see Jose, you can get answers to your questions about life insurance, health insurance, auto and home insurance as well. Continuing with more local news, one injured in a residential fire earlier this week. Here's more in the story. The fire was reported Monday night in Nyland. County Fire responded to the fire in the 100 block of East 1st Street in Nyland. Firefighters had the fire contained within 30 minutes, but not before it had caused significant structural damage to the residence. One person was treated for smoke inhalation. The family living in the residence was displaced. They were being assisted by the Red Cross. Cause of the fire is still under investigation. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. 
Ag grants available for teachers. They can apply for the $300 grants. Details on how to apply will be available uh, during a free virtual California Ag in the Classroom conference for September 24th and 25th. Grants are available to uh, county TK through 12th grade uh, educators in any uh, academic subject area. The grant supporters are Imperial County Farm Bureau, Farm Credit West, uh, Imperial Valley uh, Veg Growers Association, Imperial Valley H2O, and UC uh, Farm Smart. For detailed information, go uh, to SC Willis at ucanr.edu. And finally, if you haven't figured it out by now, the uh, the popping noise you hear uh, faintly away from us, that's uh, dove season. It got open uh, this morning. Here's more on that story. Dove season part one began this morning. Uh, dove season 2021 expected to uh, bring uh, to the Imperial Valley several dove hunters uh, looking for a chance to hunt the elusive birds. Reports indicate that the uh, doves are uh, plentiful this year throughout the uh, valley, but the uh, recent unsettled weather may make uh, hunting more difficult. The uh, COVID-19 pandemic uh, may also keep the uh, numbers of hunters down a little bit. The uh, bag limit of four doves uh, is uh, 15 with up to 10 white wing dove. The uh, possession limit is a triple the bag limit. There is no limit in the on the invasive Eurasian collared doves and they uh, may be hunted the year round. Hunters are reminded to use only a non-lead ammunition in California. The uh, first part of the dove season runs uh, through fe- uh, September 15th and then uh, closes until November 13th when it re- opens uh, through December 27th. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. We'll be back with a look at the weather. Nice to explore your options when it comes to buying insurance, no matter what you're looking for. David H. West Insurance Services offers it all. And being an independent broker, we have many companies to choose from. We continue providing Medicare, life, and health plans, and now offer auto, home, and commercial insurance. David H. West Insurance Services can find the right insurance to fit your needs and budget. And best of all, a staff who cares about you. So don't hesitate to pick up the phone and call David H. West Insurance Services at 760-352-3411. That's 352-3411 for a free insurance review. That's 352-3411. Here's Carol Buckley with a weather update. According to the National Weather Service, scattered to widespread showers and thunderstorms are possible today over the entire region. A drying trend will begin tomorrow, but lingering chances for isolated storms will remain. Well below normal temperatures are expected through Thursday and warming back near or just above normal by the weekend. 104 our high yesterday, 74 the low. It'll be sunny today with a high near 100. Light wind becoming south about 5 miles an hour this afternoon. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 77. West-southwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour becoming east-southeast after midnight. Sunny on Thursday with a high near 100. East-southeast wind about 5 miles an hour, then turning out of the northwest. 77 degrees downtown, 94% relative humidity. Wind out of the northwest at about 3 miles an hour. Page 2 of the local news and the weather brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for life insurance, health insurance, Medicare supplemental coverage, David H. West Insurance Services. One to get ready. We're ready. Two to get set. Tables are set. And three to go. Let's go. Burgers and beer is ready for you. We are open and our meals are fresh and made to your order. We are set. Our tables are set. Our condiment trays are fresh, stocked, and chilled. Our doors are open and it's go time. Come in and enjoy all your favorites at Burgers and Beer. The bacon is sizzling. The fries are frying. The burgers are cooking. And all the beverages are ice cold. It's a good day at Burgers and Beer. It's sports time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the best care. Padres shut out the Diamondbacks 3-zip. 
Blake Snell threw seven hit of seven innings of no hit ball, and uh, the Diamondbacks ended up with just three hits on the night. The Padres finally getting some pitching. Angels uh, beat the Yankees six to four. Mets slipped by the Marlins six five. And uh, it was the Phillies uh, bombing the Nationals 12-6. Orioles topped the Blue Jays 4-2. Rays ripped the Red Sox 8-5. And um, in a seven inning, the uh, second game of a doubleheader, it was the Mets over the Marlins uh, 3-1. Athletics topped the Tigers 9-3. Rangers slid by the Rockies, 4-3. Cubs topped the Twins, 3-1. Indians, 7. Royals, 2. White Sox uh, over the Pirates, 4-2. Brewers beat the Giants, 6-2. Dodgers edged the Braves, 3-2. Mariners shut out the Astros, 4-0. Cardinals and the Reds postponed because of nasty weather. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in health care and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Brawley and, of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all the Pioneer services, visit pmhd.org today. Well, let's take a look at the uh, NFL. Well, uh, Royce Freeman stays with the Denver Broncos. Uh, Royce, uh, the subject of trade rumors early on, um, has uh, stayed with the Broncos, made the uh, the roster. And according to Coach Fangio, uh, expected to get a lot of playing time early in the season because of injuries to other running backs. Meanwhile, the NFL Players Association is investigating Jacksonville Jaguars coach Urban Myers after Myers says vaccination status was a factor in roster cuts. And uh, New England uh, coach Smiley Belichick says Cam Newton's vaccination status had no factor in his release. No, uh, according to Belichick. I would just point out that I don't know what the number is, but the number of players, coaches, and staff members that have been affected by COVID in this training camp who have been vaccinated is a pretty high number, so I wouldn't lose sight of that. And uh, Brian Flores has told the Dolphins Tua Tagovailoa is our quarterback during a team meeting. And uh, the Arizona Cardinals have placed quarterback Malcolm Butler on the reserve retired list as of yesterday high school football coming up this friday night john driffle and i will be in palm desert for the first time in 20 some years as uh, the spartans visit the aztecs mickey dale and dylan nichols will have the imperial tigers home opener against the cibola raiders and that'll be on kxoradio.com Southwest will be at University City High School. Calipatria and Calexico will tee it up. Vincent and El Cajon Valley. And uh, it'll be uh, Brawley at Indio. Okay, there you go. That's high school football Friday night. That's it for Sports Time. Brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Log on to pmhd.org for more information. Since 1901, Imperial Printers Rocket Copy has provided the finest printing and copying services from start to finish. When you choose Imperial Printers Rocket Copy, you can feel confident in our expertise and personal attention to your project. We have a team of professional graphic designers ready to take your ideas and make them a reality. From promotional merchandise, full-color brochures, blueprints, and high-speed copies, 
copies to business forms and everything else in between. Imperial Printers Rocket Copy offers dependable and affordable quality printing. Thank you for choosing locally owned and operated Imperial Printers Rocket Copy. We have convenient locations near you at 430 West Main Street and 100 South 11th Street in El Centro and 184 South Plaza in Brawley. Financial news and weather brought to you by Southwest Security, a locally owned company protecting you and your property. Southwest Security also offering live scan fingerprinting to the public. Walmart is looking to hire 20,000 workers for its distribution and fulfillment centers, trying to fill some of the most high demand jobs in retail as the pandemic continues to disrupt the global supply chain. Meanwhile, Microsoft is rolling out its newest operating system, Windows 11, earlier than expected for some PC users. Starting October 5th, the company will begin a phased and measured approach to the free upgrades in which newer devices will be given priority over older equipment. Microsoft had previously said it expected to release Windows 11 next year. Mixed market right now, the Dow Jones Industrial is off 34 at 35, uh, 326. S&P 500 up eight and a half at 4,000. 531. The Nasdaq at 15,353. That's up 95 points. Gold off $3 an ounce. Oil down 83 cents a barrel. Southwest Security Company is a locally owned security company protecting your property or your business and now offering live scan fingerprinting to the public. Plus, they added Southwest Postal with post office boxes you can access 24 hours a day, 365 days a year with shipping services too using DHL, UPS, and FedEx. They're conveniently located at the corner of Hyle and 4th Street in El Centro. And if you need something notarized, they can do that too. You can count on Southwest Security and Southwest West Postal for 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. We will have sunny skies today with a high near 100. Light wind becoming south about 5 miles an hour this afternoon. Tonight, mostly clear with a low around 77. West-southwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour becoming east-southeast after midnight. Thursday, sunny with a high near 100. East-southeast wind about 5 miles an hour, then becoming northwest. 78 degrees downtown, 93% relative humidity, wind out of the northwest at about three miles an hour. Air quality good in the Imperial Valley, moderate in Mexicali. Financial news and the weather brought to you by Southwest Security Services. They offer 24-hour-a-day post office boxes at Southwest Postal, 4th and Heil in El Centro. Roto-Rooter, your plumbing and drain cleaning specialist. Roto-Rooter offers full services from hydro jetting to camera inspection, water heaters, faucets, garbage disposals, anything that's clogged up. They'll take care of the problem right. Roto-Rooter is a locally owned family business with 56 years in the Imperial Valley. Call the experts at 760-352-6789 or 344-2533 on the north end. Roto-Rooter, when drains don't work, we do. The best oldies on the radio. KXO El Centro on AM 1230. KXO. This is CBS News on the Hour, your home for original reporting. I'm Steve Kaifin. Firefighters in Northern California are struggling to get a handle on the Caldor Fire before it pushes any closer to the Lake Tahoe area. Rich Rokini is with Cal Fire. The fire is currently at 204,390 acres in size, and we're at 20% containment. CBS's Carter Evans. We have seen some extreme fire behavior this week. Flames reaching above the treetops. But the winds are calm right now. That's the good news. The bad news, that red flag warning is in effect throughout today. Now to New Orleans, where emergency officials say 11 people, mostly children at one residence, are hospitalized with carbon monoxide poisoning. There are a lot of people running generators after Hurricane Ida. Power crews were able to get the electricity back on in a section of eastern New Orleans. Southwest of the city in Houma, Louisiana, CBS's Maria Villarreal says it's going to take a lot to rebuild. April Rudos rode out the storm with her three kids. The home suffered damage, but she says staying to help neighbors however you can is a way of life in Louisiana. We got together and we just were like, whoever needs help, ask. 
providing the comforts of home as the rebuilding begins. Well, today, CBS News meteorologist Jeff Berardelli says what's left of the storm is dumping rain that could cause flash flooding in parts of the east. It is a very serious flood threat. In fact, the National Weather Service saying it's a once in 100 year type of event for some towns. Heaviest stuff, West Virginia right now, that'll head through Pennsylvania during the day today, and then eventually head towards New York City, D.C., and Philadelphia, where there's a tornado threat. There's a search effort going on today in the Pacific Ocean. An MH-60 Sierra helicopter embarked aboard USS Abraham Lincoln crashed into the sea while conducting routine flight operations approximately 60 nautical miles off the coast of San Diego. Lieutenant Sam Boyle says one person on board was rescued. Five others are missing. The Supreme Court did not act on an emergency request to block a new Texas abortion law that outlaws the procedure after six weeks before most women know they're pregnant. Sarah Wheat is with Planned Parenthood in the state. Statewide, tens of thousands of patients will not be able to access a medication or surgical abortion in Texas. A yeah, New York judge today is expected to decide whether to accept the bankruptcy deal for OxyContin maker Purdue Pharma. The agreement would shield the Sackler family which runs the company from future opioid crisis litigation. Wall Street, right now, the Dow is down about 23 points. This is CBS News. CBS correspondent Allison Keyes goes deep into social justice issues across the nation on Kaleidoscope, a new podcast from CBS Audio. New episodes every Monday. I am one of thousands of women with metastatic breast cancer, or MBC, which is breast cancer that has spread to other parts of the body. I am living in the moment and taking Ibrantz, Calcocyclib. Ibrantz 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for postmenopausal women or for men with HR positive, HER2 negative MBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Be in your moment. Ask your doctor about Ibrantz and visit Ibrantz.com. Ibrantz may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrantz may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Taking Ibrantz, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Today's the day wizards might be out and about. Welcome to Hogwarts. September 1st is back to Hogwarts Day, the date Harry Potter characters return to the school of witchcraft and wizardry. But even if you're just a muggle like me, you can still celebrate. Your train leaves in 10 minutes. The biggest Potter party happens every year at King's Cross in London, where people pose for pictures at platform nine and three quarters. There's no such thing, is there? Some of the film's stars will make special appearances on a Wizarding World YouTube live stream today. And if you're feeling really adventurous, you can actually visit Hogwarts at Universal Theme Parks in Florida and California. Monica Ricks, CBS News. Britney Spears and her new attorney say her father is trying to get about $2 million in payments before stepping down from the conservatorship that controls her life and money. In a new court filing, they say she will not be extorted before James Spears resigns. Steve Kaith in CBS News. The pandemic's reminded us we live in a sea of airborne germs that can assault us with every breath. Your nose is the body's first line of defense by helping filter out allergens, bacteria, and viruses before they reach your lungs. But like any air filter, the more clogged up it gets, the less it works. So how do you clean your nose? I'm Martin Hoke, and I didn't invent nasal irrigation. The neti pot's been around thousands of years. But I did invent Navage to make cleaning your nose easy. Navage uses powered suction to flush out mucus and germs that cause congestion, or worse, can make you sick. Over 2 million people use Navage to breathe better, sleep deeper, snore less, and feel healthier without drugs. Navage has over 70,000 online reviews averaging 4.7 stars because it works and it's easy to use. Go to Navage.com or find Navage at Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, Bed Bath, and Target. Now available with eucalyptus for a spa-like experience. Navage. N-A-V-A-G-E. Clean nose, healthy life. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio. I have no words for it. I'm kind of shocked right now, actually. With Carol Buckley. Not that I like it, but I do. AM 1230 KXO. 1230 KXO.